community leaders in the upstate are cooking for a cause tonight. It's called Chop Cancer, and I will be there showing off my cooking skills. Skills. Sk yes, I've got some of those. <laughs> WYFM News 4's Patrick Hushin has more. Gentlemen. It's a cooking competition in front of a live audience. Something burning in here? Similar to popular Food Network TV shows. Boston Cold Heart Shot. The difference? These proceeds all go to the Cancer Survivors Park Alliance. And with awareness, they're redefining the term survivor. You hear about the survivor, and it's a traditional person who's fighting it right now. They're kicking it, they're alive, they're beating cancer, and we love that. But it's also everybody who's touched by it. It's that person's brother, wife, mother, son. Tonight's competition will include three teams of six amateur chefs. Each team will divide up into pairs to cook appetizers, entrees, and dessert courses. But these aren't just any old ingredients. And we try to add in some cancer fighting ingredients as well and um, certainly see if we can rise the judges and then, uh, see if they enjoy what we're putting together. Chop Cancer is also raising money for a 6.8 acre park along the Swamp Rabbit Trail between Church and Cleveland Streets in downtown Greenville. It will give the survivors, their families, anybody who's been touched by cancer a place to just go and relax and find some peace. Three lucky judges will choose a winner. And then at the end of the night, there will be a winner, the CHOP champion. Hopefully that's me. Uh, the event is tonight from 6 to 10 at the TD Convention Center.